Hello everyone, this is Joe Cool10. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Studios Backlot. In the last episode, episode we finished off uh, level 2 and now we're ready to move on to level 3. This is the final level of the game. Yes, it's, it's relatively short. Let's head over to stage 1 here. We couldn't get in here earlier, by the way. We can only get in here now. Listen, kid, we got a problem. Everything's going wrong. Steven's going crazy, and Howard, the first AD, is home with the flu. Oh, man, that's bad. What's worse, he gave it to Bart, the stuntman. He's home, too. We can't get the alligator scene shot. Oh, no. And we couldn't even if they were here because Frank, the scriptwriter, has finished the shoot script for today. Really? Wow. And if that was, isn't bad enough, Rex won't come out of his trailer either. He's too depressed to do his scene. Oh, you mean Rex the T-Rex? Wow, that's crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Steven's going to kill me if I can't get the shoot rolling. You gotta help me, kid. So, uh, this sounds like they got plenty of problems here that we need to solve. This guy, this trailer here looks, uh, I think Rex is in one, I think Rex is in this trailer. This must be Rex's agent. Let's talk to him. I never seen him like this. He's completely distraught. I should have never left those tabloids out where he could see them. The tabs say he's lost too much weight since moving to Hollywood and becoming a star. He won't come out of his trailer. Dinosaurs are very proud of their size. He's absolutely crushed. If you can find something that could cheer him up, please bring it to me right away. Well, all right, see then. The tabloids, huh? Yep. Mm. And it's probably the first time where someone's upset that they lost too much weight. I mean, normally, it, no, normally losing weight's a good thing. <laughs> but I guess not for dinosaurs. Anyway, let's push these boxes down to make life a, a little bit easier for ourselves. And we're going to want to move this box over here. If you see it, there's a there's an outfit over there. It looks like a stuntman outfit. Yeah, chances are we're gonna need we're gonna need that because, as you, as you heard, Bart the stuntman is out. But we'll come back to them in. So yeah, you need to knock these boxes down to get out of here, which you are going to need to leave this place. Anyway, let's go. Let's climb up here. Let's go jump onto the stage here. You see, Giant Thunder's here now. See if he wants to say anything. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Well, at least you're not talking all caps anymore. Looks like Nikki the tailor is busy too. And we got the director, Steven Spielberg. Steven, my man, what's up? Hi there, I'm Steven, the director. I can't really talk right now. I need to get a darn script from Frank. I can't read that, sorry. Let's try again. I need to get the darn script out of Frank. He's been taking all day to finish it, and he's still not done. I don't know how we're going to get this scene shot without it. Writers, arg. Yep, writers, man. What do you do? They need their creative inspiration, I guess. Or whatever the case is. Let's talk to this lady right here. Darn it, the set crew must have been having lunch on top of the towers. Look up there. I think they left some food behind. Whatever it is, it's in the shop. We need to get out of there. Really? Oh, there is something up there. It looks like a piece of pie. Hmm. Very interesting. Who's this lady? Hi, I'm Giselle. Giant Thunder's leading lady. A lot of girls would like to have my job. Believe me. To tell you the truth, though, he doesn't do much for me. I prefer the quiet, bookish types. I understand, pal. I understand, lady. I'm kind of a quiet, quiet person myself. I'm not really a bookish person, I guess, but... Nevertheless. So, yeah, so we're getting a few leads here. Giselle seems... Uh, we're going to have to remember Giselle for later. But anyway, so the first thing you probably noticed and probably will want to do is come over here and get this this seems like a good idea let's head over here to this alligator tank and talk to this guy bart thank heaven you showed up we gotta get that alligator scene 
scene shot. Go up, and when I say action, jump for it. Remember to just get across the other side like we rehearsed. So, yeah, so he thinks we're Bart, so he's going to let us go through. If you try to go here without changing outfits, he won't let you through. So this is the only way to do it. Take one. Here we go. Sound. Speed. Rolling. Action. So you can take as long as you want on this. If you fail, though, they will cut it and you'll have to try again. So we're going to try to do this in one tank. It's not the easiest thing in the world. You can walk onto the first gator, jump onto the second, and then jump onto the third. And if you jump right, you can actually land on this platform. Cut! Print! Okay, everyone, that's a wrap. Great work, Bart. Great work, kid. We got the shot. All right, we did it. Let's jump over here. And this guy thinks he's Donkey Kong or something. So we're going to bypass his barrels. What are you doing? Sorry, you can't talk right now. Yeah, you're too busy throwing barrels. So anyway, the Stubman catapult looks like it's lined up with the top of that tower where that pie is. Hmm. Press control button to activate. Well, let's get on it first. And let's see what happens when we press control. Whoa! Yeah, let's grab the pie. So we got our piece of pie. Awesome. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And let's talk to this lady since we got the food. Great work. You got that food out of the frame. We've got continuity now with what we shot yesterday. Thanks. Awesome. So with that pie, we should be able to do something with Rex here. Because who doesn't like pie, right? Let's try it. Wow, rhubarb pie. That's Rex's favorite. How did you know? Lucky guess. This is just the thing to cheer him up. I'll go give it to him. Rex is feeling much better. I can tell. Remember, if you find anything that might make Rex feel better, give it to me. We need to get this scene shot. So it seems like Rex is doing better now. Let's talk to our let's talk to this lady here. We don't know any we don't have any real leads on where Frank is yet. Good thing you got that mess with Rex clear up. People in Hollywood care too much about those tabloids, if you ask me. Ain't that the truth? Now if you can just figure out how to get that script for Frank. He's probably in the cafeteria goofing off. Ryers. Humph. Okay, what else? Harley told me that Bart turned up in the end and they got the alligator scene shot. I know it was you, kid. Good going. I promise I won't tell the union. Yeah, and she says the same thing about Frank. So it appears that Frank is in is in the cafeteria goofing off. Remember that guy that we saw upstairs in the cafeteria? That must be Frank. Um, you can leave the stuntman costume on, but I'm going to go ahead and change just because... I want to look. I want to look cool. The stuntman couple looks kind of weird. Or the stuntman costume looks kind of weird. Anyway, let's jump up here, and we're gonna have to head over to the cafeteria. Now, if you know what to do here, you only have to do one trip here. But since I'm gonna play it like, like um, uh, this is the first time playing the game. Um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to make two trips here because obviously Frank is not gonna hand over the script so easily as you can imagine. Let's see what this guy wants. Let's see what this guy's going on about. There's another guy over there we can talk to him too. Let's talk to this guy. This must be Frank. Oh, what's the use? I have to finish the rewrite for Giant Thunder's movie, but I just can't. And they already started shooting. Really, pal? You can't do it? What's up? Have you ever tried to write a screenplay with a broken heart? It's impossible. Broken heart? You got ro you have love problems, bro? If only Giselle knew I was in love with her. Oh, Giselle, really? But I'm too afraid to tell her. She's my muse, and she doesn't even know I'm alive. Okay, well... Hey, well, have you tried talking to her or anything, pal? Well, come on. If only I had the courage to give her some flowers or something. Boo hoo hoo. So, uh, so make sure you get that because he won't. He'll just keep on crying. I mean, from here on out. Yeah, this guy can't talk. 
little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a extra thing here. You can go through this door, come out onto this balcony here. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's head over back over to stage one. Remember that Giant Thunder's leading lady girl that we talked to? Yeah, her name was Giselle too. So if you, if you, it, it, so yeah, so we obviously want to do to do something. We obviously want to help Frank here, so we're gonna we're gonna give her that flower that we picked earlier. Remember when I said the flowers coming coming come into play? Well, this is where it comes into play. All right, so she's probably still going to say the same thing. Yeah, the quiet bookish types. Well, I think Frank's a pretty quiet bookish type, I would say. So let's give her the flower here. A flower for me? I must have a secret admirer. Who is it from? Please tell me. So you can answer Giant Thunder, me, or Frank. Now, if you play this game as a girl, the same three options appear. Believe it or not, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but she she responds the same way. So if you say Johnny Thunder, Johnny A, well, you can tell him to take it back. I think he loves himself more than he thinks he loves me. Yeah, that's what I've thought so too. Let's say it's from let's say it's from me. Aren't you sweet? But I think you're a little young for me. Gives to someone nice our age. I'm not too young for you. I'm probably about the same age as you are. Come on, really? Fine, let's give it to. Let's say it was from Frank. Frank, the screenwriter. I had no idea. He's so cute. You're so sweet for bringing the flower. Here's a note. Will you take it to him? It would mean a lot to me. So yeah, so you don't have to talk to Frank first. You can actually just give her the flower, tell us from Frank, and she'll give you the note. So yeah, you don't have to do you don't have to talk to Frank. Just give her the flower, take the note, and then you can head back to the head to the cafeteria. But, you know, like I said, we're just we're gonna do this the the way the way they intended it. The way the people intended us to do it. So let's go ahead and Give this note to Frank. It's obviously a, it's obviously like a, one of those love notes, you know, like what you would get in like high school or something. So that's how girls are. They like their love letters. All right, here you go, pal. What's this? It's from Giselle, and she says she loves me. My dreams have come true. Thanks, kid. You're a real pal. Here, take the script over to Steven. He's been waiting for it all day. Now that I know Giselle loves me, everything's great. And he hands off the script just like that. Yeah, he pretty much what had... Admit it, Frank. You had the script the, the whole, done the whole time, and you just didn't want to hand it over because you wanted to have your stupid little love drama resolved. Is life just grand? Yeah, it is for you, pal. Well... No. Some of us are still single, okay? <laughs> and I'm not just talking about the game character. Character, folks. Alright, so let's let's go back in here. We're almost done, folks. We have the script. We're pretty much done. Now, if you did the Frank stuff earlier... Um, the ending is going to be slightly different. Instead of, we're going to give the script to Steve, and he's going to tell us the ending thing. Um, if you do something else different, like giving the pie to Rex or something, um, last, then you'll get a call on the radio saying the same thing. But I prefer to have S uh, Steven Spielberg here tell us in person what he's going to tell us. So we're going, if I can jump up here, uh, this game. Just wait, I might do a bonus episode showing off all the glitches in this game. But for now, let's give the script to Steven. Holy cow, you got it! It's a miracle! Okay, well, he's going to promote us to director. I, I, I screwed up the text again. But anyway, yeah, he says that you really saved the day and he's promoting us to director. And that's it! That is Backlot. You saved Johnny Thunder's new picture, got promoted to director. 
So that is the game. It's a pretty short, pretty sweet game, but it is a lot of fun. Um, that so that is going to be the end of this next uh, end of this uh, short let's play. But uh, I may possibly do a bonus episode showing off all the glitches in this game. And trust me, there is a lot of glitches. There are so there are so many glitches that. Uh, that you guys won't even you you guys will just be crazed as to how many glitches there are in this game. It's just insane the glitches that this game has. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I might possibly be doing some more uh, Lego website games in the near future since I kind of know how to get them to work. Like I said, uh, how to get this game to work? It will. I'll put a link in the description. It will tell you all of the steps, necessary steps to get this game to work. So that way you can play it for yourself and enjoy it. Because this game is a lot of fun and it's an enjoyable and uh, it's a classic Lego website game. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Joe Cool 10 signing out.